Hi Pisces. A new beginning. You have here the dreamer, number zero. Embrace your true purpose. Begin a new adventure. Trust yourself. So you are this time here confirmed by the full new beginning. Embracing your true purpose. And this is taking that leap of faith. It's um, feeling lighter. It's getting into that state, needing to get into that state where you trust Pisces. Really, truly, we have talked about that, where we need to become assertive. You have the Seven of Wands also confirmed twice here. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for yourself with here, the Seven of Wands. So, you know, it's hard for Pisces to stand up, ground itself into itself because it's so open, it's so compassionate, it's so clearly connected to others other, others, and their energy that it's hard to find a sense of focus of here I am, you know. And so as you focus on your wish fulfillment, which is the Nine of Cups, and with the Queen of Wands, what is your emotional fulfillment is what brings you passion, what brings you a, a sense of, I'm bringing something, you know, of service. That's where the highest sense meaning of compassion comes in, where you don't lose yourself in others, but you bring knowledge, you bring service to others. And so that, for that to happen, we need to get out of this feeling of abandonment. You know, Five of Pentacles that has been coming up so strongly for us. You know, it's, it was reversed here. But obviously we've come from a lot of heartbreaks, Three of Sword. And that can be so ingrained that it's hard for us to become... Um, strong internally, to become confident, to not fall again and again into the negative emotions, into the mistrust of our own self and the fact that love can enter our life and that it can be good. And so if we don't find this love within ourselves, this passion, this sense of worth, there's no way that we're going to create that, right? Because we attract what we, how we feel inside, how we are, who we are. And so here, when there seems to be no way that you can live with yourself anymore, meaning all the negative energies that you have carried, that you could still be feeling, this sabotage energy again is here with another deck you know letting your fear get the best of you instead of making it your friend so that it can empower you knowing that this fear no doesn't exist it's again from those past wounds those past emotions because if you know that's actually in the present moment every moment you are at zero point where your soul, there's no emotions, there's no thought, there's just a blank slate from where you can create all your dreams. So when, once you're aware of that, really, like it's not just intellectual, when it really starts to impregnate your whole being, you no longer get into the autodestructive mode because you know you know what it is. You are more than this. And so once you cannot live with that, you know, depression mode, you realize that you can just let go. Because if you continue being the person that carries all of that baggage, you're not able to, to live. 
you don't find the joy in anything. So in that moment, you surrender completely. You don't know where you're going, that's a fool, but you know that you don't want to be you in that way. And so you surrender to a higher force. That is what is carries you forward, Pisces, that faith in more than you. That faith into what you need to um, share with others. That's here being social, um, social in the sense of um, sharing consciousness, sharing deeper your deeper thoughts, um, your experience perhaps, but how you've transcended it. You have here the athlete archetype that is coming through that has to do with, you know, when you go beyond your body and your body is your emotions. And when you go beyond you, this little you, you're able to find more balance, the neutral point, again, this zero energy. And no longer let yourself be the worst critic ever <laughs> of your own self, of other people. Again, remember, we are Virgo season, so that can happen where we go so deep into self-criticism or self-analyzing that we miss the point. We just go into a rabbit hole that just doesn't end. And so the end is when there's that choice. Choice made from the heart. You have the lovers coming in here. We have a little bit of a twin flame energy for sure. We have, again, this beautiful card, Ether and Matter, that came through with those two twins. And here are the lovers. So, again, this is whatever relationship you're finding yourself in. There is a need to accept the love, but also realize that the other, whatever is triggering you emotionally, is just mirroring what needs to be looked at, which means not falling, indulging into that negative aspect. It's understanding it. It's understanding that it comes from fear, but you choose to love instead. You choose to embrace that fear, become friends with it, and then you're able to return to good health. We have here a lot that has to do with resting, also reintegrating your powers. So here with the lovers, you have true love that is long-lasting. Choices made from the heart, a return to good health. And also we have the Ace of Cups, which is this unconditional love that we've talked about, which has to do with the compassion for you. How are you taking care of yourself? Are you being good to yourself? Open your heart to love. The beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one. The awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. So that is what it is. When you awaken to your own heart vibration, there's this awakening that happens where you surrender to a higher and more expanded sense of you, which goes beyond all the fears, beyond all the traumas and pains where you recognize all the auto-sabotage, auto-destructive energies, and you feel them, but you can also abandon them. And you abandon them when you have embraced them. Okay? So, here with this initiation, you have the Lemurian Shaman, shadow dissolving in gaze of truth. This shadow that you're seeing, putting the light on. Going beyond fear, initiation. So this is deep work that is happening. And because you are transcending it, not falling into it, but transcending it, and you can only transcend it when you have recognized it, then you're able to find that joy, that peace, that connection to the earth, that connection to who you are in the world, but also that you're a sp spirit being first, that you bring the spiritual into this world. Again, this ether and matter, spiritualized matter, new life, sparkles, bedding in the light, finding the sparkles, those bubbles of joy within you, Bedding and the light, Pisces. Choosing the light. 
and in that way, you know, it feels like you are in this Lemurian egg here where you are being reborn and you are being reborn through the heart. You're going to see there's a heart here and a heart on her hand where she accepts only that rest, reintegration of divine potentials. It's beautiful, Pisces, but it's time. It's time now to recognize you know, with the seven of wands twice and this fool, that now you're going to step up into the confident you, the queen of wands, and step forward into the unknown. And how do we find this confidence? When we actually surrender ourselves completely. You don't know where you're going, but you have the confidence, the trust, the faith in the divine. And you rest in that. There's no bigger and infinite power than the divine itself, the universe. It's more powerful than us little humans. So once we allow this, we find the strength of spirit. We find the ultimate trust and spirit and the confidence and spirit. And this allows you to restart from zero, from the blank slate, because you're no longer you, you are bedding into more than you. You have surrendered all. And so now you can just go. Guided by the divine. Okay. So let's get a few tarot cards to go a little deeper here for Pisces. a lot by C's. Yeah. You have two of wands and six of wands. So a lot of fire. Two of wands has to do with your vision. You know, this is also a twin flame card, 11. Um, but being at a crossroad, you know, this choice you need to make, you know, again, I really feel here that it has to do with this choice between fear and love within you, choosing what makes you happy. And that's a conscious choice every moment of your life, every moment of your day. When you're feeling uh, wary, you know, negative, uh, you choose the opposite in that moment. That's the practice. And so here, as you are putting on your vision board what you really truly want, you have rewards. You have the six of wands here. This is being victorious. This is being successful. This is being in the center of your world. So this is taking that wand, Pisces, and charging forward. It has to do with your generosity. You know, the balance also between the even give and take here. But as you come into service, Pisces, you surrender into... Um, that higher heart of yours, that compassion, um, you step into that role. You allow the divine to take you, Pisces. In this moment, you just relax it all and you give it all so that you can start over from zero. That's exactly the paradox. It's finding the confidence is not holding on to anything. It's actually letting go of it all and having faith in it, in all of it, whatever comes, because you know you're being guided, you're being moved, and that's your soul. It won't lead you astray. You will know in this way, because you are completely connected with the divine. That's your confidence, right? Your courage comes from the divine, allowing, opening to the divine, pushing, you know, blowing into the winds of your boat, you know, the divine being um, the wind and letting it blow, blow you forward. Yeah, we have an ace of cups underneath. So much about pure unconditional love here coming through for you. And it's divine. Yeah, we talked about that wand 
look, it's right here, the Ace of Wands. I mean, right now you have just the Wands taking action, going for it, getting out of the Two of Pentacles, a reverse here, which is, you know, having many options, being scattered-minded, multitasking. No, it's choosing the one wand, which is exactly that. The focus into disappearance, into the knowing that you don't know, but in that you feel your heart, and that's the only thing you know. The heart of the divine carries you. This could be a very passionate new beginning as well if it comes to love, you know, very intense relationship here. Yeah, getting into the emperor mode, of course. That's you, this, this courage, this strength, this leadership. You know, not giving up, nine of wands here. You're almost there, you're almost at the 10 here. You're almost there, Pisces. You need to become the emperor of your life, holding on to this. The discipline is into this, that practice of zero, zero. Whatever I'm feeling, all of this doesn't count. I'm confident because I'm with the divine. There's nothing else. King of Cups. Getting to the understanding of your emotions, balanced emotion as well. Having mastered your emotion. Because yeah, again, you've gone beyond that. You trust in something much bigger, much more infinite than you. And that gives you the, the ultimate strength and courage that that anyone could have because you are leading your life through the heart of God, the heart of the divine, of the universe. Yeah, again, being defensive here. Yeah, perhaps you have to defend, you have to defend your worth. You, you know, if there is any drama around you, you know, this is still holding that wand. It's again a wand. It's huge here. You need to carry through, Pisces. Whatever happens, you need to carry through. One more. But this nine of wands here. Advice for Pisces. Yeah, <laughs> the magician. Manifestation. Yeah. Don't give up on what you can manifest because it's huge. You can do it. You have all the dreams, you know, that you've ever wanted. You can choose, you can manifest what you want from all of those possibilities. You need to not get into the illusions or the just being a dreamer. Here we actualize, we spiritualize matter, right? We put it into action. All those wants manifesting. There's no overthinking. There's no drowning in emotions anymore. There's the zero point, and nothing can stop us because we are in the force of the divine, the force of God, and we just plow through. Okay? So I love you, Pisces. I hope this was helpful. Um, please rest, take the time, but know that it's time for action now. It's just time. Just trust and all will be well. Choose love, Pisces. Love you. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.